Hello! Um, if you want to make Warfinder cinematics or want to learn something new, then I guess you haven't clicked on this video without wanting to do one of those things. Um, yeah, I will show you how I make my like shots in Warfinder. It isn't really that hard. It's really simple. I will make another video on how I do my or how I uh, uh, cut my shots in DaVinci Resolve, but that's for another video. This video is only uh, to help beginners make their first few, I don't know, scenes. To help them start. Because there isn't really any uh, video right now on YouTube. So yeah, help this help. So for your first, the first step, is to just load into a realistic battles game or a custom battles doesn't really matter uh, then you just create session choose any map press start uh, choose time of day choose weather everything else can stay as it is you can lock or you can choose a password but I, I don't really do that then you just press apply and start I won't do that now because I already have if you want me to explain that in detail, then I can, I guess I can, or you can just text me on Discord, right here. Yeah, okay, then let's go to replays, and then choose the replay that we made the scene in. So, if you have uh, loaded in, then you just go, go to the position that you want your shot to be right here and just make the shot but I will explain a little bit first of all go into options then go into post effects and choose color correction film or I don't know contrast because default just yeah I think you see the difference and that you can also change that but you don't have to polynom is a little bit complicated <laughs> I can't really explain what any of these do you have to find that out yourself yeah then go into replays and spectator mode you can then or you should definitely enable this and choose I don't know a 60 second timer FOV is also really important because that's how uh, zooms out you can you see that I can't really zoom out any further and if I make turn that up make to 90 then it looks like this so I wouldn't go any higher than 90 degrees or 50 like I do then go into controls and spectator mode here is everything that you need to know or want to know about making shots a few important uh, ones are free camera then free camera inertia camera wiggle doesn't really do anything zoom in zoom out also very important if you want to make scenes where you actively zoom in or out and free camera roll very important because if you don't want all your shots to look like this like the camera that's just straight you can do them like this or that or maybe even this or like this you have complete control over the camera also an important um, like control is toggle depth of field and um, camera lock speed depth of field just uh, I think you already know what it does, but yeah, it just makes everything blurry in the background. 
and the other one lock camera speed if you press the key you chose and then moved the bit forward don't even be fast and then you just pl press play then your camera will move in that same direction the whole time you can um, turn that off if you just press k again and then k like double k then it's just off or if you want to move in another direction then you just oh, press k move forward or backward then just play that's just really how it is how simple it is also that's I, I hope I didn't forget anything zoom speed is also kind of important I don't know 2% because I don't want to zoom in that fast because even on 90% it yeah if you could, yeah I think you can see what I mean so let's turn it down that's nice yeah I hope I didn't forget anything for controls if I did please let me know in the comments so if you want to make your clip then you can just choose any recording program I uh, record my scenes with OBS or you can also use the NVIDIA recording system that NVIDIA provides you with. So after you've done all of these things, uh, then you can just press record. Make it the clip you want and then just like it. If you have any questions, just ask me on Discord. Or in the comments I will try to answer them all if I can't then I don't know <laughs> search on Google or YouTube I'm not really an expert on making tutorials but there isn't really one right now so I hope this helps yeah then see you in the next video where I explain things in DaVinci Resolve bye